Hey guys, welcome back to All Unknown Law. And in this video, I'm going to talk about um, USMLH Step 2 CK topic that's a peripheral vascular disease. Okay, peripheral vascular disease. Okay. So if you get a question, how, how, how will you get a question on this? Or if you have an option as a PVD in your USMLE examination, how to rule out? That's really very important, right? So if you know these are uh, some important points about this peripheral vascular disease, definitely it will help you to diagnose the uh, disease asked in your USMLE examination, right? So if you want to click this answer as a PVD, that's a peripheral vascular disease, the one thing you should know that there is a history of atherosclerosis in the uh, in the patient. Remember, look for the age of the patient. Look for the main sex. Okay, look for any any history of smoking. Very important smoking. Look for that, or any history of what you call um, uh, diabetes mellitus, hypertension. Okay, and any cardiac diseases. Right. So these are really very important. If you get these things present in the history then you can think of PVD, okay? Try to search for these points in, in, in your USMLE Step 2 CK examination or even in Step 1, okay? So the patient, how patient will present with this peripheral vascular disease is um, uh, they will have a leg pain, okay? And uh, the leg pain, the characteristic of this leg pain is uh, that will, you know, that will improve with the rest. If the patient takes a rest, then uh, there is uh, what you call uh, there is an improvement in the pain and that the patient will not have the pain. Okay, and that's known as intermittent claudications. You know, intermittent. Intermittent claudication, okay. So, but it doesn't mean that they give the history that the patient uh, is having a leg pain, but uh, it subsides uh, when he takes a rest. No. Sometimes they even can, can give the history that the patient has a leg, uh, history of a leg pain, but even on resting, he, he feels the pain. Okay, because if the disease is severe, then he can have the pain during the rest also, right? The what are the other features you should see? is one is a dry skin look for the skin over the legs is it dry is it is there any ulcer okay or is there any any what you call hair growth low hair growth okay because the vascular system is affected the blood supply to the skin to the hair is affected then there will be changes seen on the skin and the hair in the form of dry skin ulcers right and the hair growth and some some history can be there in what you call if the patient is a male they can give the history of what you call the impotence remember okay if this is present then you can think of PVD also okay so what investigation you want to do in this is a b i that's the ankle brachial index a b i ankle brachial index ankle brachial index right it's nothing but measuring the systolic blood pressure at ankle and the brachial artery okay if it's less than one okay if it's less than one then it in indicates vascular insufficiency okay remember if it's less than 0.4 then uh, it indicates a severe disease okay so even in, uh, if the patient is taking rest, he will feel the pain if the ABI is less than 0, uh, 0.4 or 0 0.4, right? Okay, the investigations in the form of ABI, they usually give the ABI or sometimes they, they will ask you a question in USMLE that which of the following uh, method or uh, investigation will help you to know the severity, okay? And a very easy method is nothing but ABI. If they ask you the ultrasound, ultrasound, remember, is very useful in locating the stenosis and the variation in the blood pressures, okay? And if we want to map the narrowing of the, what you call the, the, the vessel vascular uh, uh, distribution, then you can do arteriography, arteriography, okay? Right? Okay, now you tell me how will you treat this disease? What's the treatment for this disease? First is what you have to tell the patient if the is there is mild if there is no pain what you call on resting then you can advise of exercise, 
quit smoking very important okay quit smoking right very important and try to look for any ulcers or any any what you call is present on the foot right you have to treat that also right and the drugs that are useful are asa pentoxifiline remember these drugs very important for what you call for usml step one pentoxifiline or cholestazole Uh, they give the history of PVD and they will ask you the mechanism of action of uh, by which mechanism of action does uh, this drug will help you. So you have to know the mechanism of action, right? So very simple. And if these medical treatment fails, then you can go ahead with a PTA. What is a PTA? It's a percutaneous transluminal angioplasty, right? And if this is also fails, then the one thing you can do is bypass grafting, right? or if there's any HMA, then amputation is the last treatment we can do the best, right? So this is regarding the basic idea about the peripheral vascular disease. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video, take care.